Hi everyone, I'm Sangwa. I'm Anson, and we're from Eason Music. Music. And welcome to our first ever podcast. One, two, three. Yeah, so what are we going to name this podcast? Uh, is So we came up with a few ideas, actually. Mm, I, uh, and I think we're going to go with Eason Music. Coffee chats. Eastern music coffee chat. But why coffee chat? Yeah, so uh, first of all, someone and I, we both love coffee. I mean, we're not going to endorse any specific brand because we have our own preferences. But it feels like this chat is like a coffee tiam, like first thing in the morning, we sit down, we have our first sip of coffee and we just start chatting away. Like, and like whatever's happening in the world or like the latest politics. But of course, we're not going to discuss that in our <laughs> cute, humble little podcast. Uh, basically, mostly about uh, Chinese instrument. Yeah. So um, we decided to start this podcast because we wanted something more casual mm -hmm. and uh, we've been doing a lot of videos um, on YouTube and Instagram as well so and short, TikTok <laughs> yeah, short videos and long videos uh. yeah. so those videos um, they're different from this podcast that we're doing this will be a bit a bit more uh, casual casual more and conversational uh, and because uh, the videos yeah. online is like curated or mm. planned out uh, written in some form <laughs> Mm. <laughs> all written, <laughs> uh, rehearsed and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, hopefully um, we will be able to share more through this podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, hopefully more juicy details will come out of this. Yeah, uh, more, sometimes the things that we say, right, is like very general information mm. that people can do a quick search online. So this direction that we're going for uh, in this podcast, maybe we can do deep dives or just chat about very weird facts about certain instruments or like just some very like what you say some juicy <laughs> i wouldn't say gossips yeah but just some juicy developments in like uh the chinese music scene yeah so for those people who do not know who is the music is mm -hmm. uh just a very short intro about ourselves we sell traditional chinese music instruments um things like uh, who, gu zhen, pi, pa. uh we have been business since uh, 1978 oh, and 78. Uh, yes it's been like what 40 years 50, 40, 40 plus years yes yes so uh we do uh, repairs as well and we provide lessons as well and um we sell instruments yes yes mm. and of course uh if you've seen us online uh we don't only sell locally we also start uh, we sell internationally so we can actually visit our store at easternmusicstore.com yes we ship um our instruments uh, worldwide mm -hmm. mm. So, Anson, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so, uh, hi everyone, I'm Anson. <laughs> so, I play the Yang Qing, and uh, if you don't know what a Yang Qing is, you can just uh, Google search Y A N G Q I N or Chinese Dulcimer. So, I started out playing the Yang Qing when I was 16. So, before that, I actually played the drum in Chinese orchestra uh, since Sec 1. So, how did I start playing Yang Qing? Because my senior, uh, she wanted someone to play a very simple duet with her. So he said, hey Anson, since you play drum, why don't you just pick up this instrument? And uh, one thing led to another. I started taking lessons, taking grading exams, even joined competitions, performed overseas, and landed a job here in this Chinese music instrument shop where I can continue to explore uh, my passion for Yang Qing and other Chinese music instruments as well. Oh, cool. So <laughs> is that senior still playing the Yang Qing? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, a lot of times uh, people once they leave school mm -hmm. they don't join like outside community orchestras and they just look, like life takes over basically uh, yeah so I, I feel quite lucky to okay. be able to still play and like just spread the word <laughs> about dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Anson is uh, a really good player. Oh, um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> he is uh, very versatile and he can play a lot of different genres of music. Yeah, lately into gypsy jazz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yes, yes. That. Uh, How about you, Lao Pan? Uh, oh, so, okay, so in this podcast, uh, even though we introduce ourselves as Song in Essence, so uh, Song Wa is actually, uh, we lovingly call him Xiao Lao Pan in the shop. So for non Chinese speaker, Lao Ban means boss, so Xiao means small, small boss. And I'll let Lao Ban, Xiao Lao Ban explain why. <laughs> um, okay, so this business was actually set up by my parents. Mm. Um, so 
um, they said it was uh, started in 1978. Uh. Mm. So we call him Ta Lao Ban, which Ta means Ban. the big boss. So uh, <laughs> hence, I'm called the Xiao Lao Ban. The because, small boss. <laughs> yeah, the small boss. Little boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, actually, I started um, learning uh, music when I was um, very young. I started learning the, the violin. Mm. Then after that, then uh, I went to secondary school and my father just started a business. No, actually, no. I, no. 1978 because it was starting in 1978 yeah. but, were you my, born yet? yes yes definitely <laughs> <laughs> sorry no graphs of time <laughs> okay yes so when I went to secondary school and he was in this business for, for some time already oh, and so uh, the business was around already then just nice you start. Uh, you joined secondary school and there was a uh, Ch- Chinese orchestra uh-huh. so he asked me to uh, why not go and play the Erhu because I wasn't having too much fun with the violin yeah, oh. I hated I hated the violin. Bad uh, teacher or uh, let's not bad mouth anyone <laughs> on our first episode, but <laughs> Okay, I'm, I mean the teacher is a very respectable teacher, but Strict. every time mm-hmm. I go there I would You dread lesson. No, I would go inside the room and he wouldn't be there. I would just oh, I would just be oh like dear. What am I doing? I like like right, I mean in retrospect now I think he's letting me practice. But <laughs> But he only comes in like the last five ten minutes. Oh dear! So was, that's like, not really a lesson that you pay for, huh? Yeah, I was like, or maybe things is slightly slightly different back then. But anyway, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. So so I I kind of uh, lost interest la. So oh. yeah yeah. I think I think the teacher is very important. If the teacher is with me there, um, all the time. Perhaps I will have a... Even if he or she just sat inside and watched you yeah, practice. Yeah, even if she sat inside and... He or she, we do not know. <laughs> play with his phone. No, no, no. Ah, no, 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 no. Wow, wow, wow. That shouldn't be done, okay? okay Can be should... discussed in the next few episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the teacher... Well, yeah. So I lost interest because of that. Mm. And uh, my father decided to maybe uh, let me try out the Erhu. And because I know the violin, so people who learn the violin would be um, in an advantageous position to take out the Oh, uh, Because like pitching, like they're more yeah. sensitive to press uh, on the right spot on the string. M- mainly in the hearing uh, and, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and hand posture also. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I took out uh, the Erhu. Um, Ever since then, and fast forward to now, um, I joined this business and um, I've played the Erhu and I also pick up the guitar along the way. Ah. Yeah, guitar and because I played guitar, picking up the ukulele is uh, easy. So you're quite a multilingual in a instrument sense. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so yeah, that's where... uh, led me to hear I mean uh, it's family business and you just mm. take over and you slowly expanded the business yeah I mean putting it on an international stage platform so so to speak yeah and just nice that I can play the Erhu I think yeah. it, it really helps so people who uh, find out Erhu videos online would definitely come across this little face yes <laughs> yes, yes yeah and people will de- lovingly call you what's that what, what, how do they always call you Mr. Sung. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's, oh no, Mr. Wa. Hi, Mr. Mr. Wa. Okay. I'd like to speak with Mr. Wa. <laughs> so I say, uh, I would introduce myself as, my name is Sang Wa. So Sang Wa is actually my first name and my surname is Tan. Yeah, so the family so, business name is Tan. <laughs> uh, not family business name. Oh, sorry, sorry, the family name business is... is <laughs> the family <laughs> name is it's Tan. Tan yes. Yeah, the business so, name is Isam Music. Uh, yeah. Enterprise. Yeah, yeah so if, if you want to call me Mr., it'll be Mr. Tan. Nah. Yeah, rather than Mr. Wa or Mr. Sang or Mr. Sang <laughs> We'll Wa, keep that in mind. Or Mr. Tan Wa. <laughs> okay, so that's about us. So mm. this is our first episode after all. Yes. And do you see us uploading regularly or do you like just come feeling? <laughs> um, yes, I would like it to be a regular feature. Um, mm. We... Um, are very motivated to do it every week. Every oh my Tuesday. god, saying that is like you're like psyching yourself up. We are very motivated. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, to to really do something regularly takes a lot of commitment and motivation. That's and, right, that's uh, right. Yeah. And I also want to thank Dan uh, Denson. I, I also want to thank Anson, you know, for being here with me, you know. 
Yeah. To I, lend my golden voice. <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. To no. lend your deep, bassy voice. These are all edited, by the way. So a lot of them usually boost the, the, the bass of the audio uh, afterwards. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a commitment to, to mm. wake up early and you could have been in a gym right now, right? Uh, yes. So I'll just move things around. You know, <laughs> I'm a hustler. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. so uh, we're, we're going to upload our podcast on multiple platforms, but yes. we're just going to start it off here, <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, okay. We will be uh, distributing it um, on various podcast platforms like Spotify and uh, iTunes. Mm. I think I think probably these two uh, main platforms first, and um, uh, you can expect them probably or uh, every Friday. Mm. So we we record it every Tuesday and um, post it every Friday. I think we, I think it should be. Reasonable. Yeah, right, so right. Uh, for you listeners out there, uh, you can look out for our podcast update weekly yeah. and every, every Friday. Yeah. Fingers crossed every yes. Friday. And we <laughs> will make a commitment to just chat more, have a coffee, chat more in the morning, every Tuesday morning. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, we will be inviting guests. Uh, I mean, on yeah, show, definitely. So, but let's, we're just going to start off with just both of us mm. chatting, chatting away, yapping away in the morning, hopefully with a coffee soon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do this uh, podcast uh, having a video and audio format also. So if you wish to see our lovely little faces or sometimes when we uh, you're listening to the podcast and we're talking about certain products and I mean, we're going to do our best to verbally, you know, describe how the product looks like and stuff like that. But if you want a better picture of how it is you can always head on to our youtube channel uh just youtube.com slash music to look out uh for our podcast update as well yeah probably that would come out later yeah video, because yeah. it takes a bit more time to, to snip snip cut cut sync yeah. sync <laughs> <laughs> and, and mix put mix it, <laughs> yeah video video is uh it's a lot more hassle yeah, um, yeah. okay i wouldn't say hassle but mm. it's just uh, an extra step Mm, yeah, mm. a necessary step, especially if people like to see not our faces but see the product. <laughs> yeah. So, and as for how our podcast will be structured, as of now, I think it's quite free form because I'm we're just chatting away right now. Yeah, but every week we would have uh, a theme, a topic mm, to talk about. A topic, yeah. Definitely. It would not be like. Or else you'll be listening mm. and wondering where is this conversation going? Yes, yes. you'll be like a bystander <laughs> at the coffee shop next table, and it's like this. Pe- these two people are like speaking <laughs> and just yapping away. Yeah. So as much as possible, um, we would have a main topic to talk mm. about, and um, sometimes it will. It might be about some specific instruments, mm-hmm. and sometimes it could be like uh, things in general uh, in the Chinese orchestra. Scene. Yeah. So actually, we were just talking about like teachers. Like learning experience, um, so I mm. think having the, a discussion about that, a conversation about that, it will be quite insightful because you and I we have our own individual learning experience. We mm. have our own teachers uh, with different teaching styles. So I think it will be quite uh, beneficial for our listeners or people who just started up learning an instrument and just hearing from our opinion, our experience, and how they can uh, move forward with their own learning journey as well. Yeah, so or even. If you have kids, you know, you might want to just keep a lookout for some uh, red flags or be able to identify if your teacher is, uh, <laughs> is alright. <laughs> yeah, I think this kind, this kind of discussion will be quite fun because sometimes we, uh, I think we are in a unique position where we, are, we, are, we were once students, but we are also educators or teachers ourselves. So maybe we can also share some, you know, POV, some point of views of how, why teachers do this kind of thing and how... I mean, it sounded like we're defending ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, no. But I think it would be a nice way to share different point of uh, POVs as well. The teachers and the students' POV. Maybe that would be something good to mm. explore too. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I think that's about it for our first episode of uh, Eastern Music Coffee Chat. I think we're finishing our coffee soon. I'll be heading off to work. Yeah, so uh, for this episode, we just want to say hello to you and uh, let you know what I expect. Mm. Um, for the previous uh, podcast Previous podcast? Oh, for the future podcast ah, uh, okay. So fast looking back <laughs> <laughs> Reminiscence <laughs> The coffee stain dry already yeah. Okay, <laughs> anything else to add, Anson? Uh, well, I also want to thank 
Salopan uh, for bringing me on board this podcast and I would really look forward to chatting more with you and hopefully look forward to more people hearing to our funny little conversations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so hope to hear it in the next episode. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.